Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course operating systems. I hope you all are clear with the earlier concepts what we learned. We learned about the basic introduction to the operating system and the different types of operating system and also we learned about the functionalities of the operating system and in the last lecture we learned about uh, uh, what is the interface, what are the different types of interfaces we have where the user can interact with the operating system. Okay, in today's class we will see about the user mode and the kernel mode, Why? what all these two modes are and uh, we will see in detail all those things. Now, so before going to learn about this, I just want to talk about one important point here, what actually a kernel is first. First let us understand what actually a kernel is and then we will see what is user mode and what is kernel mode. Okay, so to understand this one you can see one diagram here. Uh, you can see we all know what is nothing but an operating system as of now we understood like operating system is nothing but a system software which acts as an interface between the user of the computer and the computer hardware that means all the hardware components will be under the control of the operating system only that means the user whenever they want to interact more they have to request the operating system then only the operating system will be assigning those things to you now by seeing this diagram you can understand uh, kernel is divided sorry the operating system is containing two parts inside it did you see all of you here the operating system is consisting of two parts so what are the two parts first part is the kernel part and the second part is the shell part did you see all of you this one kernel part and this one is the shell part now what is the use of these two always remember shell kernel part is nothing but the heart of operating system so whatever operating system functionalities are there no that will be taken care by the kernel only so this will be ho holding all the functionalities and this will be executing all the functionalities of the operating system now what is the use of this shell shell is nothing but it it acts as a interface where the user can request the operating system to assign some hardware in the last class we understood like we have command line interface did you see that is nothing but we need to give some commands so those commands we will give in the shell got it so this is one part of the operating system kernel is nothing but this will be taking care assigning of the hardware everything will be taken care by the operating system uh, will be taken care by the kernel only. so that is what kernel I hope you all are clear Okay, now coming back to our original concept, what is user mode and what is kernel mode? Now, user mode is nothing but, uh, see we all have our own laptops and we use some applications, isn't it or not? Applications like you may be using opening some text editors and all and or else you, are, you may be writing some programs and all. So, uh, okay, so those things are called as, that, those things are called as using the applications. Now, whenever you are using any application, then it is nothing but you are in the user user mode okay not on all of you let us have a discussion about this one now first concept i want to talk about is user mode and kernel mode user mode is nothing but whenever we are using any applications that means whenever we are using any whenever we are writing any program let us consider you want to write one java program in that case what you need to do you can open an editor and type the program there that is also one type of using an application or else you can open a notepad and type the program that is also using an application so whenever you are doing such things that means whenever you are using an application then we are in the user mode so whenever we are using an application then we are in the user mode now what is nothing but a kernel mode kernel mode is nothing but suppose the, uh, the user is requesting for some tasks okay some task like let us consider he want the user wants to use some hardware in that case uh, the user has to request the operating system now who the operating system uh, has to allocate that one the allocation part that means the operating system functionalities will be completely under the control of the kernel the kernel will be executing that task that means the request will be satisfied by the kernel so when the request is satisfied no, then we can say we are in the kernel mode okay so kernel mode is nothing but uh, we are executing the functionalities of the operating system requested by the user core functionalities of the 
operating system will be executed by kernel so whenever you are executing those core functionalities when we will be executing those core functionalities only when the user requests okay then the, when we are saying like we are in the kernel mode at, at a particular time we may be in a user mode or we may be in a kernel mode okay now here you need to understand one point is cpu always switches between the user mode and kernel mode because it has to execute the thing it, there will be a cpu that will be it, its work is to execute the things so whenever we are in the user mode cpu will be in the user mode and whenever we want to when whenever we are executing the, in the kernel mode then the cpu will be in the kernel mode that means the cpu will be switching between these two so we already learned in our first class or second class i think uh, whenever the cpu switches between the kernel mode or uh, this mode no we have a mode bit option did you remember that one the mode bit will bit will be zero if it is in the user mode the mode bit will be in the one okay and if it is in the kernel mode so mode bit will be used to uh, make it more uniform way of uses okay now here uh, in the linux command let us consider one simple example in the linux operating system i want to open a text editor now opening a uh, uh, um, text editor is nothing but you are uh, you are in the user mode isn't it or not so let me show the diagram first and then we'll see one example you can see this diagram all of you uh, i hope you all can see this diagram now see in this diagram if you see uh, we are in the user mode when we are saying in the user mode suppose uh, you are in the linux environment you can consider any environment i have taken a linux environment in the linux environment what i have done i have opened one editor okay uh, one te uh, one text editor i have opened and i, I have typed that program okay whenever i am typing this program what do you mean by that when i am in the user mode isn't it or not that means i have started an application program interface what do you mean by application program interface i have opened one interface where i have typed one program and i have written one program uh, in into the in that editor are you all following that means uh, that is what we are in the user mode so whenever you are in the user mode the mode bit will be set to zero that is what you need to understand now uh, after uh, whenever you are uh, you have typed this program uh, now you will save this program now where you will save this program you will save this program in the memory which memory you will be saving this one in the hard disk hard disk will be the secondary memory so under whose control this hard disk will be this hard disk will be under the control of operating system isn't it or not so operating system will be having this hard disk now you will be saving this program now you want to execute your program whatever program you have no you want to execute this program now to execute this program what you need to do this program should be copied into the main memory who will be doing that task operating system has to do in that case the user has to request the kernel like please transfer my program from the secondary memory to the primary memory why because the user don't have direct access to this hardware he cannot take directly and put it into the main memory that ha work has to be done by the operating system okay then how it will be done it will be done by the operating system only then the user has to move to the kernel mode where in the kernel mode you will be executing this one so how we will be moving from user mode to kernel mode through the six system call you will be executing some system calls in the next class we will see what actually system call is so through the system call we will be moving from the user mode to kernel mode so that the functionality that are required to copy from the hard disk to the mem main memory will be done so once the copying is done it will go back to the uh, it will return from the system call it will go back to the user mode. i hope you all understand it okay that means whenever you want to execute any whenever you want to access any hardware no whenever you want to access any hardware you require kernel help in that case what you need to do you need to re you need to uh, request the kernel so through the system call you are requesting that one that means let us consider you may be using a command called read command okay read system call this is one type of system call through the read system call you will be requesting the kernel to do that task so once the work is done it will return back one simple example real time example i'll tell you about this user mode and kernel mode follow carefully all of you okay uh, let us consider uh, you are a college student now you have to you want to do you want to um, uh, um, like
like you want to do some uh, uh, office work or not this example let me take one another example bank example now in the bank uh, bank whenever you go to bank no uh, what you will do you want to withdraw some amount then in that case what you will do will you directly go and get the cash which is available in the cupboards and all no you will not you are not going to do you are not allowed to do that one at all what you will do you will reach at one particular window and behind that window one person will be sitting and you are requesting that person to do that task that means whatever money and all is there no inside the bank that will be under the control of some people and those people are in the kernel mode okay and we want to perform that task where that means we want to get withdraw amount we are in the user mode but we are not directly allowed to use withdraw that one we need to take the help of the person the bank person who is behind the window okay we may be asking like that so this is the example of the user mode and kernel mode i hope you all are clear now okay we, we cannot directly take the money from them we need to request them and then we need to they will be giving us some form we need to fill that form once every formalities are done then only they will be taking the money and they will be giving us the money that is what the approach is that means the bank person is known to be called as a in the kernel mode and we customer are in the process of user mode got it so this is about your user mode and kernel mode i hope you all are clear I'll take one more example. Uh, real time example is bank. One more example. Let me consider. Uh, you want to perform an operation. Let us consider. You want to perform multiplication of three of three numbers. Three star, four star, five. You want to perform. Like let us consider four star, five star, five multiplication. To do this operation, you don't need any kernel mode operation. directly in the user mode only you can perform this one and in this case there is no requirement of kernel mode but suppose if you want to print this one in the monitor like on the monitor you want to display okay monitor is your hard hardware under whose control the monitor will be under the operating system only that means you want to request the operating system to get the to give access to the hardware so that you can print the output of this one okay so then in that case what requires you need to move to the kernel mode got it when we need to move to the kernel mode only when you want some of the operating system functionalities to be executed then only we need to move to the kernel mode understand here to execute this program no need to go to the kernel mode but to print this one you need to go to the kernel mode that is what the logic behind that one got it so this is about your user mode and the kernel mode i hope you all are clear with this basic concept of user mode and kernel mode okay so let us all meet in the next lecture until then thank you all of you